Bilateralism, a key player in the spectrum of international collaboration, involves interactions between two parties, often nations. This mode of engagement stands as the middle ground between unilateralism, where collaboration is absent, and multilateralism, a broader form of cooperation involving multiple entities. Bilateralism has deep historical roots reflecting the traditional nature of diplomatic relations between nations. Early treaties and agreements often involved only two parties, setting the stage for bilateral interactions in international affairs. The mid-20th century saw a surge in multilateral initiatives, especially with the formation of institutions like the United Nations. In the era of globalization, bilateral relationships have evolved to address complex issues such as trade, security, and technology transfer. Nations increasingly recognize the need for nuanced, direct engagements to safeguard their interests in an interconnected world. Pros 1. Bilateral agreements allow nations to tailor negotiations to their specific needs, fostering flexibility and addressing unique challenges. 1. In certain cases, bilateral negotiations can be more efficient than multilateral approaches, enabling quicker decision-making and implementation of agreements. 1. Bilateral interactions often allow for a deeper understanding of each party's concerns, fostering a more nuanced and comprehensive resolution of issues. Cons 1. Critics argue that bilateralism can lead to a fragmented international system with a multitude of agreements that may lack coherence and consistency. 1. Bilateral engagements might exclude other nations or regions, potentially exacerbating global inequalities and limiting the scope of solutions. 1. Economists often express concerns that bilateral trade agreements may conflict with each other, creating a complex web of regulations that can impede rather than facilitate international trade. In the economic realm, bilateral trade agreements are both common and contested. While some nations prefer direct negotiations to secure favorable terms, others emphasize the importance of multilateral frameworks like the World Trade Organization WTO. Bilateral engagements play a significant role in shaping geopolitical alliances and addressing security concerns. Strategic partnerships between nations often involve bilateral agreements that address shared security interests. The current scenario underscores the ongoing tension between the advantages of direct engagements and the potential downsides of a fragmented global order. Nations must navigate this landscape weighing the benefits of bilateralism against the imperative for coordinated multilateral action on global challenges like climate change and public health. In conclusion, bilateralism remains a dynamic force in international relations, shaped by historical context, contemporary challenges, and evolving geopolitical dynamics.